guys, I've got something super cool I wanted to share with you today. I've been so excited to get this. I wanna show you a glimpse of the future, what smartphones will look like five years from now today. Now, believe me, Apple is surely gonna be inspired by this phone that I'm about to show you today, and I've been waiting for this for so long. So, uh, I'm being very honest when I say this, I always considered the Samsung Galaxy S7 to be cutting edge, the most bleeding, best display, best phone on the market, period. I love Apple, this is my channel, of course, but it's my opinion, I just think it's the best. Now I'm gonna show you the greatest ever. Let's get this guy unboxed. So what I'm showing you today is the Xiaomi Mi Mix. This is a phone that came out a little bit ago, and usually Xiaomi, I believe that's how you pronounce the company name, copies Apple. This time they actually outdid them. There's so much tech in this phone that Apple hasn't even got to. Yes, guys, I get the message, fragile, literally on every corner of the box. Fragile, 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 fragile. Okay, and here she is. So there it is, the mix designed by me. This is a 6.4 inch smartphone, and this is the four gigabyte RAM version with 128 gigabyte storage. So very elegant packaging, very uh, presentable for sure. So here's the phone. Ah, there it is. So, wow. Holy crap, this thing is thin. So for those of you that don't know about this phone, this is a ceramic phone, actually made out of real ceramic, one of the first on the market. Wow, it's shiny. I mean, I thought jet black looked good, but this has a very elegant finish to it. Now imagine how much uh, scratches you're gonna pick up on this fingerprints. Man, it's like a mirror sheen right there. That's beautiful. Okay, I gotta say it looks good getting a, Nexus vibe from it, the pixel, I mean, that button. I don't know how many of you guys watched my iPhone 8 update video, but Johnny Ives has a vision for the iPhone in the future, and he says he wants it to be like a single slab of glass. Well, look at what I'm holding in my hand. If this doesn't feel like a single slab of glass, I don't know what does. This is exactly in my mind what Johnny Ives was thinking of. So let's power it on and check out the best feature of this phone, why it's from the future. There it is. So this is an organic LED panel. The technology on this phone wouldn't be possible without it. So what we're looking at is a completely bezel-free iPhone or phone in general. So it has almost no bezels, according to the ads. The screen literally curves in the corners and wraps around the phone. So I'm so excited. Come on, show me some color. I've been dying to see this. Okay, there it is. Once you have some color, oh my goodness. That is so cool. Literally have never seen a curved OLED. Well, my Apple Watch has one, but this one is on a smartphone. That is so neat. All right, so let's jump into settings. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. It's like I'm holding, uh, have you guys seen Westworld? It's almost like those glass panels that they hold in the show. This just feels, oh my goodness, guys. I'm, I'm just having a tech gasm right now. This is amazing. So a couple facts about this phone. The actual display covers 91.7% of the surface area on the front of the phone. The iPhone 7 Plus for comparison only covers 67.7. So you can see why I would think this one is starting to look a little futuristic and this one is already dated. The bezels, uh, it's just not cutting it. That's why Apple really, really needs to step it up for the iPhone 8. I seriously am more impressed with this than I was with the release of the iPhone 7. I was not this excited. This thing actually brings new technology to the table. So let me choose something very vibrant here so you guys can really see the depths of that display. So it's not quite, quite as uh, bezel-less as I saw in the ads, but it's certainly very, very close. Just the fact that it's pretty much the same footprint as the iPhone 7 Plus, but feels like it's from five years in the future with this display. I want to use this. Does it work on Verizon? So this display is a 1080p resolution. It certainly doesn't feel like it, but that's the same resolution pretty much as the iPhone. A little bit higher because the aspect ratio is different. It's 2040 by 1080p. So the resolution isn't quite as sharp as a Galaxy, uh, the Galaxy S7, but it looks very, very sharp. Like. I, I definitely take this over the Galaxy S7 any day. So on the bottom, we've got USB-C, a single loudspeaker. It's a very square design for sure. I think uh, it's kind of cool, it still has a headphone jack. Also, these buttons are also made out of ceramic. So this material 
is what the next iPhone could be made out of. There's a couple huge benefits to it. Uh, for one, it doesn't need any antenna bands because you can freely pass the signal through this material. It doesn't need antenna bands. Also, the actual ceramic material is very, very good for heat dissipation. So this phone rarely, if ever, heats up. Uh, from what I've heard, you can be doing some intense things with the Snapdragon 821 that powers it. Now, ceramic is actually, on a scale of hardness, mineral hardness, is an 8. For comparison, the Gorilla Glass 5 is a 5. Now, if we look at the front of the phone, of course, there's no earpiece here. How do you hear somebody when you're talking to them on the phone? And the way this works is so crazy. There is a processor inside that converts digital to analog. And the way it works is kind of crazy. Let me let me read the term for you because it's, it's a little hard to remember. It's a cantilever piezoelectric ceramics, and it works alongside a digital to analog converter to turn electrical signals into mechanical energy. So basically the phone is making sound from vibrations. When you have this up against your ear, you hear the people because it's creating vibrations that you then hear through your ear, and it's just kind of wicked how it works. It's, it's crazy. There's also no proximity sensors because it's using an ultrasonic sensor that can go through material, and that's something we heard will come on the next iPhone as well in order to maintain a very clean appearance just like this. So it's got some tech that no other phone has on the market right now. Futuristic speaker and an ultrasonic sensor along with this display. So wow, this phone is something else. Now in China, it goes for about $500. It starts about $500 to $600. So for a concept phone, it's quite affordable where it's from. Getting it to America, that's where you almost double the price in some cases. Just a little color comparison for you guys. So just want to show you how these images look compared on both devices. Definitely more color with the OLED. It's more vibrant. And of course, the darker colors appear darker. That's just how it is. So jumping into here, of course, you can see the pure black background. I love how it blends with the borders, even though they're very tiny. It's just a beautiful transition. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. It takes up all corners. Now, I've only been using this phone for what, like 30 minutes, and I can already tell the software is a huge pain. If this was running a stock version of Android like the Pixel, wow. And I'm sure someone will find a way to root it, uh, or maybe it is already unlocked. I'm not really sure on that front, but this plus stock ROM would be so much better. Now, a big strong suit of this is it does come with a dual SIM adapter, just like the OnePlus. So that's very nice for cheating husbands or businessmen, whichever one. <laughs> so let's check out the fingerprint sensor, see how that compares and do some camera tests, speed tests, just see in other areas besides the display, which obviously it wins the race and how it compares. And by the way, the placement of the bottom or the front facing camera is very interesting. It's pretty much where your hand is when you're holding it. So I, I could feel like that would get in the way a lot. All right, and fingerprint sensor speed with display off. This one's gonna be a little tricky because I have to place it perfectly on the back. So three, two, one. Hmm, yeah, so it's like instant on, no animation. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, one. Yeah, definitely faster with screen on. Let's try that. Three, two, one. Yeah, definitely still faster. So the I'm sure the fingerprint sensor itself is the same speed as just the animation that makes it feel slower on the iPhone. Let's test out the single speaker on this guy versus the dual on the iPhone 7 Plus, see which one is louder. That's 91.7 on the 7 Plus. Let's see what this guy can do. Really? That's like the same result, pretty much. Wow. This has the newest Snapdragon 821 processor, which is a revised 820. It's more efficient and does have slightly higher CPU speeds. So let's go ahead and run those. While this is running, I wanted to take a moment to mention the battery in this thing. This has a mammoth 4,400 milliamp battery versus the 2750 in the 7 Plus. I've been using this for, what, just like 30 to 45 minutes already, and it's only gone down by a few percent. So I gotta say, even in the short time I have had it right now, it looks phenomenal. It's not really dropping, and there certainly is a lot of room to place that battery in this shell. So this battery life, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. I guarantee, I promise you guys, if this came on Verizon, if it worked with Verizon, I would switch over from the iPhone. That's how much I love this thing. So I just put my Verizon SIM card in and I'm trying not to hurt my feelings by getting too excited because I just saw service pop up. Does this actually work? I'm calling my dad right now. By the way, I can feel the speaker, the vibration. Uh, if I turn it off, definitely works. Привет, папа, как дела? 
Нормально, сына, я это еду здесь сервис плохой. Я в Орегоне, через три часа буду дома. Да, да, дома, я сейчас работаю. Окей. Okay. This is unreal. I just got this to work on Verizon. My internet is working perfectly. My phone, my messaging, everything is working. Guys, I just found my new phone that I'm going to be using. All right. And a little disappointing here. So 36, 36 versus 57, 15. And the single core score is just about double on the iPhone 7 plus. That's ridiculous. Ah, ah, making me feel bad about my Switch already. As I was making this video, the trailer for The Last of Us 2 just came out. So let's see what it's like to go ahead and view on this beautiful HD screen. So I heard one of the flaws of this display is that it actually cuts off some of the media, but I guess we'll have to see. It is very immersive, I gotta say that. I wish it was even zoomed in a little bit to fill in the entire display. And the very last thing, let's check out the cameras. So this one down below and the 16 megapixel shooter on the back. So I'm gonna go outside, get some uh, colors in there. Let's compare. All right, so this is a test of 4K. For some reason, the viewfinder is very laggy on uh, the Mi Mix. And I don't know why that is. On the iPhone, it's very smooth. So getting a nice look at my pond and of course I want to try out the shutter issue. Oh my gosh, it's still there on the iPhone. The faster you go, the more apparent it is. Let me mix it's pretty good. So it seems a little shakier. I'm not mistaken in 4K that is. Alright, so here I am. Um it's funny because it recommends you turn the phone upside down when you use the front facing camera on this guy. 5 megapixels versus 7 on the 7 plus mm, I don't know you guys tell me how does it look all right and there it is guys my me mix overview the most impressive phone I've seen to date I'm sorry if I've been gushing too much over this I'm just really really impressed I'm sure you guys can tell I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review it's a very beautiful phone it's a bit underpowered compared to the iPhone for sure the camera is just not quite there completely but in all other areas, battery life, display, wow, just wow. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'm actually going to be using this for about a week. I'll report after how my experience was. Peace.